Number 60. Assuming that blood is an ideal fluid, calculate the critical flow rate at which turbulence is a certainty in the aorta. Take the diameter of the aorta to be 2.5 centimeters. Turbulence will actually occur lower. Okay, whatever. So uh, what we need to now do is we have to realize, right, if they want us to calculate this critical flow rate uh, where turbulence is, a, is a, a certainty, we have to be thinking about, you know, what, what values do we know relate to turbulence, okay? Uh, the idea of the Reynolds number is the relation, meaning that the Reynolds number, if it's going to be larger than 3,000, approximately, and by the way, this number changes based on, you know, what textbooks you might read. Uh, if the Reynolds number is larger than 3,000, we assume it to be turbulent. If it's going to be less than 2,000, we assume it to be laminar. And if it's in between, it could be turbulent or laminar, you know, it depends. So uh, what we uh, now realize is that Basically, I'm going to be using this Reynolds number formula, where it says that the Reynolds number right, of flow is going to be equal to 2 multiplied by the density of that fluid multiplied by the velocity multiplied by the radius of the tube divided by then the viscosity of the fluid. So do I know everything? Well, we're talking about blood and it's at body temperature. So the first thing is the viscosity we do know. All right, that'll be looked up. This is the value at 37 degrees Celsius. Um, we also, the density of blood is going to be about 1.05 times 10 to the third. So we know that. And we're trying to find the, and we do know they, they do tell us the diameter of the aorta. So we can figure out the radius of that aorta. That's fine. The only thing we don't know here is the velocity. But uh, remember, they're asking us for a flow rate. Okay, and flow rate is Q. So maybe Q is related to V somehow. omg -ness. Look, there it is. Q is equal to A times V. So V is equal to Q over A. Since it's cylindrical, V is equal to Q over A pi r squared. And look, let's just plug it on in. Boom. So now when we plug that all in, on in, we realize that the Reynolds number is going to be 2 multiplied by the density times then the flow rate divided by pi r squared times r all over the viscosity. And what happens to r? Well, one of them goes bye-bye. So now I can reorganize this fraction. Okay, so it'd be 2 multiplied by the viscosity. Uh, multiplied now by Q, what I can do is move these variables on into the denominator overall, okay? Uh, so divided now by pi R times the viscosity. Now, what are we after? Well, we are after finding the flow rate. So move everything away from Q. So anything in the denominator moves up and to the left into the numerator. Anything in the numerator on the right-hand side moves down and below into the denominator on the left-hand side. Put your little division sign, get rid of this, move this on over, reorganize, voila, here it is. Okay, move it front and center. This is the formula, that's it. Now the only thing we might not know is the radius. Now you can plug in, you know, your your relationship to diameter if you so, if you so please. Remember, radius is the diameter over two and therefore the diameter is gonna be equal to two r. So what I could do, right, I mean, either case, what I could do is just take this value and plug it on in for R if I wanted to find the diameter. I'm not going to do that because it's just, it, at whatever, it doesn't really matter. Um, it's just, it's just easier just, just to do this in my head, right? So here, the diameter, they told us, is going to be 2.5 centimeters. So that means in terms of the diameter, that's going to be 0 0.025 meters, okay? We got to have it in terms of meters and then take this and divide it by 2. All right, to get our uh, radius. All right. So now plug everything on in. So it's going to be pi. Let me move this up slightly so I don't run out of room. So let me move this up. So this is going to be uh, pi multiplied by that radius. So we said it's basically d over 2. So it's going to be 0 0.025 over 2 <clears throat> multiplied by that viscosity. And the viscosity was 2.084 times 10 to the minus 3. That you might have to look up. Now the Reynolds number, it says, uh, uh, calculate the critical flow rate at which turbulence will then be a certainty. So we're assuming that turbulence will be a certainty at 3,000, so therefore plug in 3,000 for that Reynolds number. And then just divide this by now, 2 multiplied by the density is going to be 1.05 times 10 to the third. And voila, this will be the flow rate. So just take out the calculator and do the math. So pi multiplied by 0 0.025 divided by 2 and then multiply by 2.084 times 10 to the minus 3 times 3,000. And then take that and divide it now all by 2 times then 1.05 times 10 to the 3. And what do we get? 
we get a value of 1.67 or so. So this is equal to 1.67. Uh, no, sorry, 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 sorry. 1.17. There we go. Times 10 raised to the negative fourth. And that is in terms of now cubic meters per second. And that's the flow rate. If you need it in other units, feel free to convert. But this is the answer. Guys, thank you for tuning in. Appreciate it very much. Please remember to help us out and subscribe. We'll see you next time.